right, so we're going to slice this. Who cuts bread like that? What? <laughs> Who cuts bread like that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here with Liam, who is a professional chef. I want to show you some of my videos because I am very gifted when it comes to cooking. This is going like scrambled eggs now. No! This is it! Oh Jesus Christ, oh my god. Oh wow. Did you try eating it? I'm surprised you're still alive. <laughs> this is one of the worst ones, I have to be honest. One of the worst ones? They're all, they're all bad. You've watched my videos. Yep. You've reacted to everything I've done food related. Unfortunately, yes. So I thought now we should do a cooking challenge. I cook against you. Here's a twist that you don't know yet. I will eat whatever you cook, but you have to eat whatever I cook. Oh, oh all right. I, oh, God, save me, please. So we've got a lot of ingredients in the back, right? And then we're going to go over it. You get 15 minutes. I get 15 minutes. Yep. And let's see what we came up with. The theme for this, because it's morning, it's breakfast food. Yeah, so, okay. What do you say? We take the challenge? Take the challenge. So here we've got the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna cook something for you for it. I mean, you have to eat it. Regardless. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can only take 15 minutes. So what am I gonna make? Do you know what you're gonna make already? You have an advantage because you're watching the ingredients and then you still have 15 minutes to think. Do you like okay. French toast? Yeah, I like French toast, yeah. <laughs> No anymore. Okay, let's do it. Um, what do we need for French sauce? Bread, right? Bread, yeah. I'm gonna do this like very American style, okay? Should I make it two slices? Are you hungry? Go on. Okay, I'll make it two slices. I'm gonna do the eggs now, right? Yeah. How long would it take you to make some French toast? Uh, it takes about two to five minutes. <laughs> and I'm for you, it probably take twenty minutes. Probably an hour. An hour. I mean, in reality, if I was, if you weren't here, two pieces of French toast, two eggs. Yeah, you can always add another egg into it if you need to. So what do you do with the? I just leave them like that in the fridge. Why? Because I always forget. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that I've never got, I never got food poisoning, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Never. Never. Never had food. I love how surprised you are. <laughs> we can use double cream or milk. I'm gonna go with a little bit of milk and a little bit of double cream. This is gonna be so much more interesting when you're making because you actually know what you're doing. All right, so. I just keep on looking over to you to see your reactions. Like, if I messed up already? Okay, so we're gonna add some cream as well. To this, we need to make this sweet, so I'm gonna add some syrup to it. Yeah, or you could do it later on. Oh, I mean, I'd already planned to add it later on. It was just a test to make sure you knew <laughs> how to make French toast. Uh, we need to whisk this, right? So I'm gonna use some chopsticks. Chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you use? It's a Chinese style French toast. Yeah, it's a Chinese toast. Okay, I think I need some cinnamon, you know why? Because, I don't know why, I just feel like adding it. It's looking pretty creamy, right? Yeah, it's looking... This is so, this is one of the most intimidating things I've ever done. Cooking with a professional chef looking. I'm gonna add some pumpkin pie spice, so. Oops. A bit too much. Um, I hope you like it. I think you have to soak the egg in this, but this is not white enough for that. So, I might soak just... the egg in it. Oh, soak. <laughs> you soak the bread in this, but because. Oh, you know what? Let's cut this into smaller pieces. Yeah, yeah. Is there a right knife to use, or any would do? Any, as long as it's quite big. Right, so we're gonna slice this. Who cuts bread like that? What? <laughs> Who cuts bread like that? <laughs> <laughs> what? You start way? from the top and then down. Huh? You start from the top, down. That's still bottom. Yeah, that's it. I should do it like that. That's better. Yeah, that's what I meant to do all along. That, perfect. honestly, looks perfect. Th that is a good cut. Oh, is that a piece of wood from the chopsticks? <sighs> Please save me. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put the bread in. 
Should you go directly to the pan after? Yeah, that? I'll get the pan on. Oh, wait, no. I'm not saying much. Wait, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this here then. So I'm gonna spray it with some of this. That is healthy. Do you use the spray stuff or do you use like olive oil? Um, Should have used butter, because it's breakfast. Yeah, but you can always add a bit of butter into it to get it crispy. I'm gonna soak the bread. Do you know, the worst thing is when you bite into French toast and then you can taste raw eggs the on the egg, inside. Yeah. So I'm not gonna soak it for too long. I'm gonna do it. Oh, we can do two at the same time. You could put four in, but... Could you actually? Yeah. If you add the triangle on the other sides. That's coming That's in. the difference between a chef and a normal person thinking. A normal person. This could be You might need some more uh, fry light in. More what? Fry light spray. Oh, some more spray. <laughs> Is it now you start like a house fire? No. You're not. Is that too much? You don't have naked flames. <laughs> oh. I've never had someone like confronting me as I do it. You what usually... are you using a knife for? Well, because I don't want to wash anything else. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's burned. It's burned. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. That one looks color. good. Yeah, yeah, but this is the first one. Oh. That's touching. Touching burnt side, but it's alright. You can turn the pan down. Turn the pan down. Okay, is this the longest you've ever seen someone take to make French toast? It's been 13 minutes at this point. I'm not gonna have time to cook the whole thing because I have to plate it. I don't think I'd like to eat the rest of it. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> alright, guys, so I'm gonna plate this. I've only got like two minutes to do this. So I'm gonna add the French toast. So we're gonna it's looking to... pretty naked on a plate, but it's we're gonna add some fruit. Just for like the smallest amount of food. You still have some. Nah, it's fine. You didn't pick I, it. I'm not eating it. That's it. Brilliant. Now we're gonna, we're gonna cover the whole thing with maple syrup. Just a little bit, not too much, because otherwise it'll be too sick. Right? Oh. Do you love maple syrup? I'm not. I don't, I'm not a very sweet person. So you've just killed it. Whoops. That's quite good. That, looks that good. is good. That is good. I was expecting it all to come out of the yeah. packaging. Okay. I'm <laughs> so what would what would you rate it in terms of looks and the whole cooking? The whole cooking was pretty decent. The pan was a bit too hot for it, uh, but you, you've made the mistake of turning it down. It's 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 looking really well, except from it's sat into maple syrup. <laughs> I usually, here's the thing, when you're a bad cook, what you do is, you cook something, right, it's not very good, so if it's sweet, you you add a lot of maple lot, syrup to yeah. it, so you can like, sort of like hide how bad you are at it, yeah. if it's savory, you add a lot of like ketchup or whatever it is that you like to also hide, but yeah. you probably don't relate to any of that. You're not going to eat it now, because we're going to eat together after yep. the end. Let's get started, I'm going to film yep. it while you cook, yeah? Yep, sure, no problem. 160, is this right? Yeah, you can make it higher or lower if I you want. I just need like a little bit of the grill. The grill? I'm going to do a croque, uh, croque madame. So bread, cheese, ham, cheese, bread, cheese, egg on top. Fine. That sounds like everything. Oh yeah, I've had it, that's a good start. Oh, I don't know. I actually thought I was buying a knife, but then it wasn't. <laughs> I, I just kept it because I thought it looked interesting. So soften up the butter a little bit. So it's softening butter. <laughs> if you don't have a microwave, spread it on your bread. That's a lot of butter. It's a lot of butter, but while you cook it, it's, it'll come off. Because if you add too much butter, it'll get really greasy. It's not very healthy. Okay. Cheese. Uh, we don't really care much about health here on here. No. no. Uh, from from your videos, obviously not. No. <laughs> Somehow this already looks better than mine. More cheese. Such a simple dish, but so amazing to eat. Oh, I feel so bad. You're gonna eat two little pieces of French toast, and I'm gonna eat that. So close it back up. Yeah. Make sure it's compressed. All Down. right. Otherwise, the bread would absorb that too quick. Gently lift it up. Oh, could stick, so you get the palette knife under. Well, if that was me, it would be ruined by now. It, yeah. I would have flipped it completely. Into your frying pan. Whilst you're waiting for this, you'll tidy down your section. I never tidy. <laughs> So there's one side. Turn it down a little bit. <gasps> that looks so good. 
How did that happen in literally like 30 seconds? Because you want to get the heat in there. If it's a low heat, it goes soggy. That looks so good. I feel really bad. I just touch a little bit more butter to help get that. That is in. so much butter though. I mean, it's I'm not complaining. Nice. It's probably about 15 grams. Oh yeah, that's actually a little bit. Good look color, even around. All right. Don't worry about the cheese because we're going to put everyone's favorite and put more, more cheese on top. So you've got the grill, the grill back on. So a nice little even side. So it goes into the oven to do the fried egg. A little bit more oil. All in. right. You can also do it with a fry light, but okay. I'm more of an old way. Of, yeah, yeah. You know, you can still add a little bit of that to help it. So gently onto work service. Make sure it's not too hot. Right. So now you're starting to get that bubble. You don't want the bubble. If it's really hot, just pull it off the side and yeah. it control the heat itself. Yeah, just a little little pinch because if you add it from that, you don't know mm -hmm. how much is going on. You just want a little pinch of salt just to bring the, the egg, the flavour of the egg up. It's only been seven minutes and you're practically done. Oh yeah. Yeah. A nice little bit of cracked pepper on top. Look to see where we are in the oven with the crop, uh, crop madame. So the egg's finished with. Still got a nice soft egg yolk. All the egg white is cooked. Yep. There's no raw egg white. Gently onto the board. So you always tuck your fingers in with a knife. Yeah. You tuck it in so it bends down in into your like palm gently. Mm -hmm. And then you just let the... Have you got another knife? <laughs> It's thin. You don't want to chop this too much, otherwise it'll go brown and you lose all the flavour onto the board. That'd be enough for, for what we have. You can always keep this aside and use it back later on if you cook anything else. You can scrape the egg on the end of the pan to try and get rid of the excess of the oil. And there we go. That looks so good. In the crock, madame. A little bit of chives for presentation. Ah! Uh, also, do you know you only took like 10 minutes? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good effort. Even the egg yolk is like still perfect. Alright, I mean, that's... That's kind of embarrassing that that's mine. 30 minutes later, actually less than 30 minutes, because even though I took my... I took like 17 minutes. 17, yeah. How did you take? 10 minutes, right? 8 minutes. <laughs> Should we try it? We shall. I already saw it. Here we go. Uh, I feel really bad. <laughs> oh, should I cut into it? Yeah. Straight into the oil. I'm gonna... That's the best part. It's gonna be so good. Uh, you didn't put cinnamon in there in the end, did you? Uh, are you allergic? No. It's just so it wouldn't be too cinnamon. It's not doing a cinnamon challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that egg yolk? That looks so good. It's like runny and perfect. Uh, Alright, cheers! Cheers! Mmm! This is... This is the best, like, pork mousse you have ever had. Oh my god. <laughs> this is nice. This is actually quite nice. It's a shame about the... I love how you say, this is nice, but then you look at the plate and you're like, mm, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm going in for more. I'm definitely going in for more. Do you want to try your own one? No, it's alright. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll slip with my, uh, my sugar rush. Very sweet. Mine is perfect, so I'm definitely going to carry on eating this. I'm going to give you half of it, so you okay. don't starve. All right. Thank you so much for coming to my house. No problem. Thank you for having me. I'm really sorry for everything I put you through. It was emotional. <laughs> it was an emotional. It was emotional. It was a very big roller coaster. This is honestly so good. This is. I'm not not saying this for the video. Not saying this because you're here. Because I mean, you've said things to me. I would happily roast you. But this is actually the best like croquettes you have ever had. Like the best one. Like not even comparable. It's so good. That's it for this video, guys. And I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.